Welcome back to my little channel. Today we're going to talk about respect. Because apparently it's something you can demand. Now there's a video out by a person, I don't know. Apparently this person is non-binary, whatever that means. And because of that, this person demands respect. Does that make sense to you? Oh, I'm aware that because I'm non-binary, I'm confusing to you. Well, to me, it's not so much confusing what you are. I'm more confused why I need to know what you are. I mean, who are you to me? But you're going to have to respect me. And this is basically where I already sign off. I'm going to have to respect you. I have no idea who you are, but respect is not demanded. If anything, it's earned. And you're not earning it by demanding stuff. It kind of makes you look like um, an offensive agitator. Do what I want you to do because I want it. And I don't feel like that. So, no. You want my respect? Earn it. You think that getting it comes before respecting me. I don't care to get it. I don't need to get it. I don't have to think like you or understand why you like certain things. I mean, sure, you like this team of sports or you don't like that sport or you don't like that food. All those things are also individual things and I don't care. I don't need to get why you think that you can be, what is it, um, whatever it is you are, fuck it, I don't care. It doesn't have anything to do with me. And as long as it doesn't have anything to do with me, I don't need to care. I don't need to get it. Now, once you become a friend of mine, then it becomes a different story. If you're not a friend of mine, why should I care? But it's the other way around. Yeah, you see, the thing is, what I think respect means and what you think respect means are probably different. Because I can still respect you without caring for your sexuality or your binarity or whatever. Because I don't care. But I can still respect you without caring about those things. Apparently, you disagree with me on that. To you, I have to respect you being non-binary, I think it was. I don't care. It's not an important issue to me. When I respect someone else, whether it's a male or a female, it's based on their character, not on their sex items, not on how they consider themselves to be. Those things are not part of the equation. The fact that they are a part of the equation for you says something about you. Who are you if you are not non-binary? What makes you you is the only thing that makes you you. Hey, I'm non-binary. Well, if that's it, I would say you have a problem. But that's just me. I respect you enough to tell you that. You need to see my humanity. You must respect me and talk to me like a human being. Here we are again. I must respect you. That's not how respect works. But at the same time, there are people who have a strong dislike for people who are anything but male or female. So trans or non-binary, blah, blah, blah. They have a strong dislike for that, from whatever religion or culture they come from. Does that then automatically mean that you must respect them? If the answer to that is yes, then fair enough, keep on demanding respect. If the answer to that is no, then yeah, sure, you can still continue to demand respect, but have you any idea what an incredible hypocrite you are? And then maybe later you'll get it, but that's the least important part. You know, this is the first thing you say that I can somewhat agree with. It doesn't matter if I get it. This is true. I can respect you even without understanding why you are who you are, or why you like certain foods that I strongly dislike. I can still respect you without understanding it. So that part, yeah, sure, 
but there is no respect that comes from demand and by you demanding it you're basically showing that you have no respect for whomever you think has no respect for you it's 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 a how do you call it negative spiral because it only gets worse you're going to demand more and people are going to point at you and say look this is why i don't care for these people because you come a spokesperson for everyone that claims to be non-binary but at the same thing there are people who are non-binary who just go through their life they don't have to tell everyone oh yeah no you know i'm non-binary you have to pay respect to me because i'm non-binary no they just go to work and uh, when they come at work and people say hi how are you doing oh yeah you know, i had a good weekend period because the non-binary thing is something for their personal life just like the average heterosexual woman or man doesn't go around fucking other heterosexual woman or man no because it's between them and their partner it's something for their personal life you're trying to make something personal something society has to accept but they don't listen you want to wear earrings wear earrings you want to have fingernails painted paint your fingernails no one cares you want to strive in a society then okay try to behave within the norm and funny enough being a man and dressing like a woman isn't a problem within the norm as long as you do it passable and then some people will point at you and laugh because they think you're crazy and some people will accept you as you are but that has nothing to do with respect because the respect you want you will earn by proving that you're worth it and if all you do is agitate towards other people by saying oh well you have to respect me for this that or the other then i'm sorry you're breaking your pathway to respect you're not earning it you're demanding it and the first thing people do when someone demands respect is they turn their backs so yeah maybe someday you will get it the way it looks now i am sorry for you but i doubt that you will anyway criticism as always is more than welcome like share and subscribe if you feel so inclined and let me know what you think because i am curious have a good time